Hello, and welcome to another Camp Edition Tarot. I'm drinking some sort of um, ginger tea, ginger lemon tea, which feels really, really good. I'm in the desert. Um, at some random site I didn't know I would end up at. I found a rock shop. Check out this rock. Check it out. This actually came from this area. I'm in Texas. And then I got some really great. <laughs> I believe I have Apache tears. Uh, fluorite and amethyst. I wanted to get some stones for making a grid or something like that, but I also really wanted to, to walk away with something from this area actually, so not a bad haul. I think. We're gonna get, let's get into the tarot and see what is going on. Uh, trying to do this while traveling is proving to be quite difficult. Because I haven't even been able to really sit down until it's been after dark. As you can tell, above me is the biggest sky that I've ever seen. All the planets, all the stars, and... Of course, now I can't see them because I got this light in my face. Um, but there's also this thing, um, the area that I'm in honors the um, Dark Sky project or whatever that is. You know, So I think in about 10 minutes I gotta shut this down. I thought I'd just fit it in and see, see what's going on, uphold the tradition as best I can. And... Um, And yeah. So let's see. Oh, Moonology deck. Please show us the way. What is something the collective needs to hear right now? Any messages for the discerning collective? Hmm. South node, don't let your past hold you back. Eep. New moon Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Full moon Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Interesting. Interesting. So it's almost like there might be a lucky situation if you choose to take advantage of it. Take advantage of it as in like to see luck is on your side. New Moon Sag. This card is really about the idea that when luck is on your side, you're actually being called to take more opportunities, take more chances because it might just turn out in your favor. That's really positive. Don't let your past hold you back. So this might be something about um, something about your past or something you're familiar with. Um, South Node is like our comfort zone. It's also like where, um, you know, astrologically, we we think of South Node as what we bring into this life, something from a past life. It's very helpful to I think know your north and south nodes that you know your north node is your north star it's like where you're meant to go something you're supposed to learn um so there this this path might be illuminated right now in the guise of showing you where not to go there's some sort of lucky situation about um being able to see more be more open Hmm. 
Hmm. <clears throat> you know, the, the reason we hold on to things from the past, I'll say, is like, you don't know what's on the other side, like once you put something to bed. For good, like once you move on from a situation, you don't know what's on the other side, and that's, I think, what holds a lot of people back, is this not knowing. And so you're being asked to trust right now that something will unfold in a way that is for your greater good. Let's clarify. We're on the verge of a new year. Oh my goodness. Venus is still in retrograde. I bet everyone's really feeling that, especially now that um, COVID is really <laughs> decimating, like, you know, our communities and really forcing us to go inside again, like literally, but also like within ourselves. <laughs> when we get that alone time, we're really forced to sit with our own stuff, all the ways that we do go back to our comfort zone. But there's a silver lining of some sort of like an opportunity that is available. And I don't think it'll pass you by, but just that um, it's about exploration. It's about being more open. Be open to the possibilities. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So maybe you're just on the horizon of seeing beyond some circumstance, some past circumstance, into sort of like a new cycle, a new, a new life for yourself here. So let's see what the Northern Animal Tarot has to say. Mm. Oh god, I thought it was going to be an alarm. <laughs> the reading that I did a couple days ago that I told you never got uploaded, it was bomb. It, it, it was so great. I'm so sorry that you, you won't ever get to see it. <laughs> Underneath the magician yep you have what you need you have what you need to move forward this is about manifesting something new having the resources to push past the situation you're showing up as holding on to what you got i think it's time to make some space here ace of pentacles yep the opportunity to let something go mm by assessing what is here in front of you, what you have, what are your resources, as in where can you see the possibility? <clears throat> Notice how this isn't really about making any mm, moves, like I feel like this is this is oscillating very, very quickly between um, luck is on your side. So take the opportunity. Ah, maybe this is about the tough cycle approaches. This is harvesting. The leaves are falling, shedding. So this is about shedding something and not holding on to your past. Here we go. Let's see what else we got. Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Yeah. So if you're seeing the potential, you're inspired now to um, take advantage of this opportunity or set opportunity. It's like you're you're getting some help with it. You're on one side needing to be heard. You're sort of establishing what you know among you know, in the company of others. It's also, you know, this is about community getting help, collaboration, not doing it alone. So this might be a, this might be an opportunity that uh, an, you're not the only one who sees this. This, this it's an opportunity for stability, finan either financial success, opportunity. This might be, this might very well have to do with work or money. It's like holding on to like an old way of making money or something, or being limited in a perspective based on how maybe like what you've, your career had looked like in the past. Shedding our value systems around money. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords. 
the shooting star and the goblin at the end. Wow, that's interesting. So it's almost like the end of a tough cycle approaches was the last moon card. And we have then the Ten of Swords validating that this is a um, some kind of painful situation, but also a mental cycle, like a mental loop or a... Um, some sort of devastating thing. Also, check out this card because the landscape, if you just ignore the like stabbed bird 10 times over, that's like where I am right now. That's what it looks like. Legit. For real. And this is what I see in the sky. <laughs> the shooting star. Hmm. Luck is on your side. Make a wish. It just might come true this reminds me of like the idea of like you know when you when you really wish for something you don't like wish in secret you like make a mood board or a vision board or you you write it down a bunch of times you tell people what it is that you want because you never know that when there's somebody in your community or somebody like immediately around you who can um who is listening or who will hear you and might just help you get this king of pentacles this Real, th this energy of like either financial security or some sort of stability that maybe you've been really um, worried about. But if you're worried about it, it's because there's something about your past that has created a, a, a loop or a belief system about money. Again, the magician's underneath, so it's like you have everything you need, but you keep the goblin is like playing a trick well can we show you the goblin come on Gorbrin. goblin is simply about tricks so because i see it here with the ten of swords i mean the ten of swords is a really sad <laughs> on surface level this is this is a this is regarding a d really destructive thing, a cycle, but this is about moving beyond it, so... There might be maybe some wishful thinking here. I feel like that's what's necessary, but um, maybe not. I feel like because I see the Magician and the Shooting Star, it's almost like uh, backing up your desires for your desire for like maybe a new way of making money or this new stability whatever this is that you're inspired to move toward having let go of something the way you did something in the past you have to back that up with some real actionable steps it's not just wishing but then putting together all the resources as above so below really believing it's almost like you want to trick yourself into believing. Hey, whatever works. Because I feel like you can do this. Um, we all have different methods of, of sort of like tricking our, our brains or, or our minds into sort of accepting positivity. Especially if this is regarding a destructive mental cycle. We it's This is about... The Nine of Swords actually came out in an earlier read. The, n the spiral of negative thinking sometimes you do have to trick yourself out of that um, the four of pentacles is here so this this might be very well the case something about your body reacting a certain way to either certain information or to your to your own personal situation maybe you're feeling like you um, have a lack of resources or lack of funds or it's just see seeming all up in the air right now I know People who have been sick can't work, um, or maybe your workplace is shut down. Maybe you're just like in this very unstable place. <sighs> you know, the positive thing s thing here is that I'm seeing is that there is a chance for this, the, the the Ace of Pentacles is here. There is a brand new opportunity, a golden opportunity. This is about collaborating with others, and. Uh, again not taking the thing of your past with you into the future so like if life is looking very different for you and you're trying to get back on your feet 
um, maybe this is a this is maybe like a career change sort of read. Um, how much time do I have? Oh, well, it's ten o'clock now. You know, let's just clarify. Um, the um, the goblin, and we'll call it there. All right. Oh, the Empress. Venus, Taurus. Oh. Huh. It's the Six of Pentacles. More Pentacles. Yeah, there's. I think that there's a gift here for you. If you're willing to accept help, luck is on your side. Right? Because what I think what's available right now is this really expansive energy that's really nurturing. So, like, you, it's tricking yourself. <laughs> I remember I was saying it could, could work. Um... I guess that would be fine, like you could do it that way, but I think the the message here is to take extra good care of yourself. Um, don't deceive yourself into just thinking you deserve this new change, this new opportunity, but actually believing that um, you are worthy of it, you deserve it, you've like made space, you are now manifesting to some highest um, highest degree so um, make your intentions pure <laughs> you know for your own sake the goblin doesn't really have a place here but this this might just be some sort of future energy that's you know coming in to, to throw us off track a little bit but um I'd say just focus on the positive and um, you know the lesson of the four of pentacles as well is don't hold on to everything you've made you've accumulated so far um, because you won't leave any room for anything new to come in and literally what wants to come in is this new opportunity so it's time to shed Oop, shed this is the fall card it's lovely Shed some things, ask for help. Um, the, the Queen of Wands is here. She's a very witchy sort of character, so um, she's an inc incredibly inspiring figure as well. And look at that. She's like in this bed of sunflowers. There's a story I will tell you later about the Queen of Wands uh, regarding uh, Polish. Um, history in paganism that I've been learning about um, well that'll be for another time so just expect that and that's all folks I'm gonna go look at the stars some more I hope this helps um, I hope I can upload this video before the new year but but we'll see won't we uh, good night take care y'all